Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I am on the water right at sunrise this morning. Going to try to catch some fish while I can. It is supposed to be a scorcher here today. Going to be around 100 degrees. I'm going to be off the water early. But in the meantime though, I'm going to try to catch some fish. And what I'm going to be doing is just taking a section of this shoreline here. This is a real kind of rocky, almost bluff wall shoreline. It comes straight down at a very steep angle. And there's all these rocks here that's broken off and fallen down in the water. There's down trees, there's overhanging trees and all this growth. And with it being summertime, there is just a ton of fish in the shallows. Their metabolism's high, they're feeding. And you know what? I want to catch some fish today. So I'm going to, I'm going to sling a jig up under there and catch as many as I can. Hopefully get a variety of species today because today's just one of them days I don't even care what I catch. I just want to get a tug on the line. So come with me. Let's have some fun before that sun gets up and runs us off the water. Let's do it. Oh, I hooked one right there. Oh boy, he's going to run. <laughs> that one I had let sink down pretty deep. I've made a few casts here with just a occasional tap here and there. But first fish is a bluegill. Might catch a few of these today. Hopefully do, because I like catching them. See you, buddy. You want to say hi to the, the camera there? You're fish number one. Congratulations. Tell him to hit the like and subscribe, would you? He says he ain't doing that. That fish don't work for me. He done tore up my gulp too. Doggone him. That's what I'm fishing with here this morning, y'all, is a gulp minnow, one inch in size. This is the smelt color. And I've got that on a small jig head. That's a 164th ounce size jig head with a number eight hook. Got my ultralight rod here. That's a St. Croix Panfish Series rod, six foot long, two pound test trout magnet SOS line. And I'm just throwing this jig out along these rocks and up under these trees and letting it sink. That's my, that's my way, uh, best way of catching fish is just letting that thing fall down through the water column. And as it sinks down, it's kind of just, just kind of darting back and forth as it, as it falls. And those fish will gobble it up. Oh, right there's a fish. I was starting to reel it in and he took off. I had cast up under that tree and initially got my line over that branch and thought I had jacked up the cast, but this fish said he didn't give a crap how I cast it. He saw an easy meal and went for it. And that's a pretty nice bluegill right there. That's a pretty nice one. That's better than some of them little four inchers I'm gonna have to edit out. Nice, thank you, buddy. Glad to see you today. Well, let me just make another bad cast up under that tree. Just kind of trying to skip it up under there. There's all kinds of debris down through here. It's just, uh, it's snag city. But if you can, if you can navigate your jig through there, you're liable to catch some fish. I always say though, buy your jigs in bulk because a lot of times you throw them in there, you ain't getting them back out. There's one. Might be a little a little better. I have continued to pick off some tiny bluegill coming down through here. Close to the shoreline, they are just thick. I mean, but they're small. Three, four inches, barely big enough to get this small jig. But when I work it off a little bit deeper here, I am running into some better quality gills like this one right here. Take a look at this fish. This fish is so nice, I don't even mind that he tore up my minnow there. Look at the colors on him, man. Beautiful purple, bluish green right there. You are one pretty fish. You're lucky I'm not keeping any today. I might feed you to a big catfish. He ain't even grateful for it. He's so starstruck, been getting put on a YouTube video and all. He's gonna be the talk of the school down there. When he goes back to his little bluegill school, all his friends are going to be so jealous. They're going to be doing TikTok interviews about him. He might even get a selfie or an autograph opportunity there. I'm going to fix that gulp back. I just, when they get tore like that on this side, I flip them upside down 
run them through the other side. These fish, they don't care. It don't make a bit of difference which side you have that gulp minnow hook through. All they see is a silverish and white colored shad falling down through the water column. Our primary bait source out here where I'm fishing this morning is shad. And that looks like a little shad fry. We've, we've recently had another shad spawn and you're seeing, you'll see little schools up on the surface of just tiny, just half inch, one inch, small fish. And that gulp minnow and the one inch size, it represents that perfectly. Oh, that's another one. I felt just a, a tap. Oh man, he's pulling too, man. These fish today, the better quality fish, oh, that's another nice gill, really nice gill. I'm having to let this jig sink down. They're a little bit deeper. They're probably, I'm guessing eight to 10 feet deep. This is another nice one right here, man. I want you to look at this. Let me get hold of this thing. Good golly. I gotta be careful lifting up with that two pound line like that. Nice gill, man. Very nice. Look at the head on him. Awesome. I'm gonna, I've got my board here with me. I don't know if he'll lay on it there. Let's just see, I bet he's eight inches. That's what she said. Yeah, that fish right there, eight inches, man, on the line. Nice gill. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, guys, I, I mean, I know a lot of people, they outgrow bluegill fishing, they move on to other species. I love it. One of, the, one's, one of my favorite fish to catch on the ultralight rod and my regular viewers, you know, I do quite a bit of ultralight fishing because I love it so much, but a gill like that, especially out here on public water, it's one thing to get them in a pond or something where they're, they're kind of fed and grown to be big, but out here on public water, an eight inch bluegill, that's, that's pretty good, pretty good fish for around here anyway. So I'm pumped up about it, but you know, I'm just out here again, having a good time this morning. I'm in my old town kayak today. This is my pedal kayak here. I've still got my transducer on. I broke my graph off on here a, a couple months ago, I broke the mount anyway, and never put it back on. This is just kind of my, my grab and go setup. I just, like I said, grab and go. I, I launch it somewhere and start fishing. I kind of, you know, my other kayak, it's rigged out to the max. I've got electric motor with spot lock and GPS functions and all that. I've got a nine inch graph. I've got live scope. Got all those fancy gadgets and stuff. And those are great tools. They definitely, I don't wanna say they help me catch fish, but they make it easier for me to do what I need to do to catch fish. But there's something just, it's just nice to take a break from it sometimes and come out here with just a bare bones kayak and one or two rods and some light tackle, some jigs and just fish, you know, just keep it super simple and just have some fun. And that's what I'm out here doing this morning, y'all. Hopefully, uh, well, hopefully we're gonna keep it going here. I'm gonna quit flapping my gums and get over here and make some more casts. If I can just be patient enough to let this jig sink down eight to 10 feet deep and not, ca look at that. I casted right, every time I'm talking to the camera, I do something stupid. Well, I got that now at least. I was, I was trying to say before I cast over that tree, if I can just be patient and let this jig sink down, there's some good quality fish down there, some good quality bluegill. I'd really like to get some green sunfish. I chose this area this morning thinking I, I might get on some of them green sunfish on these rocks. And thus far, I haven't caught any. Every time I throw up to the to the rocks right up there to the edge of the water all i'm getting is like three four inch bluegill but throwing this kind of bait any kind of gulp really the, i like the one inch size here's another one right here's another one again like i said i had to i had to let it sink down while i'm sitting here flapping my gums oh, that's another nice one man another nice one look at that but i mean you catch a variety of fish on this gulp. 
I like the one inch size. You can eliminate a lot of them smaller bluegill by using a two and a half inch or three inch gulp. But I'd rather get the action, you know, I'd rather get the bites. That's one of my favorite things about ultralight fishing is just the, the constant, there's, there's not a lot of downtime. Even when you're not catching fish, you know, you're getting, you're getting tapped. Those three, four inch bluegill, they're, you know, they're giving you feedback. They're letting you know that there are fish where you're at. And again, you don't need fancy electronics to do this. You can do this on a lake, a river, pond, creek, spillway, you know, whatever you've got to fish. Another one. I got another one right here. Oh, this is another good one too. This is another good one, man. <laughs> you know, when you ultralight fishing, it don't take a very big fish to get a nice bend in the rod. But when you get a gill like this, my gosh, that's another thick one, buddy. Boy, I have stumbled on to some good quality bluegill. I mean, look at the, look at the, how thick he is right there. I mean, that one's got some meat on it, buddy. I don't eat these things. Our water's contaminated. But this is the kind right here that'd be going home to the dinner table with a lot of people. I'm on. I'm just gonna throw this one on the board here too, just for doo-doos and giggles. Come on, fishy. Let's see how big you are today. I mean, he is thick as all get out, but he don't. He don't reach the eight inches. He's just shy of eight inches. Still though, just a awesome fish, man. Love me some bluegill fishing, y'all. Get on out of here, good buddy. I'm gonna set that back and I'm gonna make another cast. I gotta get me, he threw the gulp off, didn't he? That fish right there, guys, he got him a souvenir. Look for that on eBay at some point soon. He's gonna try to sell it on there and make him a dollar. Well, let me get me another one over here out of my, out of my peacup. You, I imagine sometimes when I get back to the launch and you know, somebody will come up and talk to me or want to see the kayak or something and they see a, a peacup sitting in my kayak, they probably think I'm Looney Tunes. <laughs> it does, that gulp juice, it does look like uh, actual pee pee in that cup. <laughs> I promise it's not though. If I thought it would help my calls on catching some fish, by gosh, I would pee in that cup though but that gulp juice does pretty good on its own. I'm gonna rehook that thing. You wanna always make sure best you can to get these gulp on that jig head straight. When they on there straight, they kind of just fall down and will glide or dart back and forth. If they're crooked on there, they want a helicopter on you and you won't catch nearly as many fish on the helicopter. Um, I've done it again. Just got that damn thing tied on too. Oh, there's a fish. Doggone, man. <laughs> I was snagged and I was trying to pull it out the other direction. I don't know if this fish hit it in the snag and knocked it free or if I pulled it free and hooked up with a fish. He's a pull and whatever. That's another big bluegill, man. My other spot up there where I was getting them others just kind of died off, just kind of petered out there. I stopped getting bit. So I made my way on down through here and lo and behold, here's another one. They're just kind of sporadic, it seems like today. Surely there's something swimming around back up in here. Let's see what I can get. Yeah, something's got my line. You see my line right there? Something was after it. Oh yeah, I got him. Come on over here, fishy. I knew, oh no, look at that. He's got himself in that tree limb over there. Hop out of that fish. This, oh man, he come off too. That was one smart fish. He went over that tree limb, did a loop-de-loop -loop around it and got himself off. That fish has been watching some YouTube videos on how to 
on how to get a hook out. I thought there'd be something here in this little clearing though. You got these overhanging trees and this gap and it looks like another tree and some rocks that have fell off there. It's like, I'm gonna get something right there. And sure as the world, I did. I got the smartest fish in this lake. Okay, here we go. Now that one was right up near the surface. I wonder if this is one of them sunfish I was hoping. It is. Yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of horse this and in. Look at this. I was hoping to get some of these today, y'all. These sunfish, they're, you know, comparable size to a bluegill, a little bit thicker, got a bigger mouth. These little guys, you know, I wasn't, I'm going to set him down on the floor just a second. I wasn't going to keep any bluegill today. Uh, I don't really need any, but I did bring my bucket with me just in case I got some green sunfish. I was going to keep a few alive. I got a little cooler here with me too, in case I run into some uh, skipjack or, or white bass or something. But I got my bait bucket here. I'm going to fill this up with water and we'll take this little sunfish and you might see him on an upcoming catfishing trip. You know, folks, a smart man would have filled this bucket up before I actually got in the kayak. But I ain't as smart as that fish that got himself off the, with the tree over there. Nevertheless, I had to work a little harder at it, but by gosh, we got our water in the bucket. Now let's see if our fish is still over here. I don't know where he's got off to. Get him. He was hiding right here, folks. He's behind my pedal drive. He's playing hide and seek with me. These fish got all kinds of, they got all kinds of games and tricks today, don't they? All right. Well, that was a little bit more of an order. Boy, I am dark. I got to turn around this way to get in the light so you can see this beautiful face of mine. That was a little bit more of an ordeal than what I had planned for, but nevertheless, finally found a green sunfish. This, they typically get up on these rocks and stuff, and, and I would have thought as much as I've covered down through here, I would have run into some. But that there was the first one. I'm not even any small ones or anything. So hopefully I'm getting down to them now. I'm gonna make a few more casts over there where I got that one. See if he's got some friends. There's something busting right there. Let me just cast that. Something's coming up right there. what that is oh he got it right there man he got it right there oh <laughs> i was reeling it back into me i was gonna make another cast and he just snatched it right there i hope i had the camera position right oh that's a little bass come in here bass you scared the far out of me buddy scared the far out of me snatch that thing right there I saw him splashing right there beside me, and I said, I'm gonna make a cast. Paid off that time. Oh, there's one. I think that's a little better one there. No, just a spunky one. It's this one here, we'll call it Spunky Brewster. He tricked me, buddy. I, he's still wound up, even on the way out. A little better drug test that one before I put him in the video. He he seems like he might have been on a little something. He might have been one of them old meth head bluegill. I hear it's an epidemic in the bluegill world. They all about that stuff down there. They get all hyped up, you know. We'll see if he's got some friends over there in a the drug house. See if one of them will bite my jig too. Sure as the world, just like that. It's another one that probably fighting bigger than he is. Come here, bluegill. You over there in the drug house too? It's, he's a, he ain't one of the druggies. He's one of them undercover police officers, what he is. I just blew his cover. In criminal shows today, they're all about them undercover, CSI, all that crap. You know, the best shows, when I was a kid growing up, and, and they were old shows then, was your Andy Griffiths and your mama's family. 
and stuff like that, you know, A-Team. They just don't make TV like that anymore. I watched an episode of Andy Griffith the other day, first time in years. And it was just as good as like I had watched it the first time. Oh, that's swimming, buddy. I thought I was coming up over a, a log. Oh, that ain't a bluegill right there. That's a bass. I told you you catch some bass with these gulp. I thought I'd come up over a, a limb I was dragging up over and it started swimming on me. I don't know, I'm assuming it's a small mouth. We'll see here when he comes flying up here in a minute. Oh, oh he spit it too. <laughs> oh, small jaw. <laughs> Doggone. I didn't get the... I didn't get the best of hook set on that because I, when I felt him again, I thought I was coming up over a limb. And oftentimes, if you if you're coming up over some brush or something, if you don't jerk the rod and set the hook into it, you can pull through it. And then I saw my line take off. I was like, "Oh, that ain't a that ain't a limb, and that ain't a bluegill." <laughs> that right there, though, by gosh, is a limb. <laughs> Doggone it. That's a bad series of events right there, ain't it, folks? Lose a fish and then get the dang tree. That might, that whatever that is right there, that branch coming off, that might be what I felt. I may have actually come over that branch and then had that fish snatch it as it come over. Let me see if I can get this one out here. Doggone it. <laughs> another one snatched me up right over. Oh, he's got another fish with him. You see that? Oh, I hope he follows him all the way over here. <laughs> it was another fit. It may be. Oh, he is right there. He is. Look. Oh, I hope that's showing up. I think that was a sunfish that was following him out. It looked like a green sunfish. At first, I thought it was a bass. Boy, green sunfish, buddy. They're like, uh, they're like, get the heck out of here with that kind of behavior. A sunfish, so that's outdoor behavior. In his house, he wasn't going to have it, buddy. He chased him all the way out. I'm already bit again over there. That's another small one right here. Come on, Bluegill. You better get over here before one of them sunfish get you. Aggressive little things. Well, let's see if I can go three for three here. Sure as a world, just like that. All right. Another small. See, that's how these fish can get on my video is get me a, get me a streak going. You tell your friends over there, Bluegill, if I get me a good streak of consecutive casts going, I might let some of you make the video. Let's see if we can go for number four. Yep, just like that. Four for four. Well, I'm on a school of these things. They stacked up over. You want to say hi to the camera? You got anybody you want to shout out, fish? Oh, I guess not. All right. He could have plugged the sponsors right there free of charge. Can we go five for five? I may not have got that cast far enough up to the bank there. No, I did too. I did too. Five for five. Was well, a big splash over yonder. Is off camera, but I heard it. Well, five for five here on the bluegill. This one here's a little better quality. I don't feel too embarrassed about putting him on video, but he seemed embarrassed. He wasn't. He wasn't too thrilled about it. I apparently, I may not get enough views for for him. You know, he may he may be a little bit of a diva. You know, he's got to get on a better a better bigger channel. I'm gonna back up here. Try to get myself back in the shade. It is, I don't know, 8.30ish already. A dang sauna out here. Well, I'm gonna go six for six here if I can. No matter how hot it is. If I was reeling in another fish, I wouldn't be thinking about it. Oh no, I just broke the streak here, y'all. Broke the streak. Getting snagged, doggone, man. 
Well, all streaks come to an end. It was bound to happen. Well, the good news is I may have broke my streak, but I got my, my jig back. I just pulled up this old branch here. This right here will be the biggest thing I catch all morning. Let me unhook you, tree. I ought to hold you up for a hero shot. All right, well, I didn't mess this spot up. Let me get on out of here. We'll make our way along and see if we can't find some more here. I may actually just go ahead and make a cast right over here. I've probably spooked all them fish, but... Oh, no, look at that gully bum. Bad luck. I just threw right over the top of that dang tree and got hung again. <laughs> this is one for the blooper reels here. Get unsnagged from one tree and immediately cast into the next. <laughs> All right, I got lucky again. Got it back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the hell out of this tray here before I make another cast. You better get over here, Bluegill. Get over here now. You got any friends over there with you? If you do, I might could go on another streak. If you got a bunch of them over there that... Oh, oh! They ain't going to tell me. He ain't gonna rat out his friends. Some of his buddies would have, but not him. He's better than that. Look right here. We got another streak going, that's two in a row. That's two in a row here, y'all. This, okay, here we go. This is another sunfish. Not a bad one either. I'm gonna put him in the bucket. Oh. He just popped free. Come here, fish. Come here. Hold yourself up here for the world. Look at you. Yeah, a little sunfish. I'll put him in the bucket. I was actually thinking that one sunfish I had back there, if I didn't get any more, I'd probably just let him go. When I leave today, I ain't going to carry that bucket around only one fish in it. His buddy right there is uh, joining him now, so it may be worthwhile if I get on some more. We'll see. If I get four of them, well, I ain't going to get more than two, two fish on that streak because I done got me another snag. <laughs> well, I'm getting lucky again right here, y'all. I'm reeling in this snag. Now I've got it out of my way. Maybe I can go back over there and catch me a fit. Does this count as keeping the streak going? I mean, technically I hooked something. I reeled it in. I landed it. I think that ought to count. Two fish and a stick on three casts. Let's see if I can get back to some fish over here now. By gosh, I do. The streak is alive, y'all. The streak is alive. And here's another sunfish that will go in the bucket. Yeah. These little sunfish, their friend was going to get out of jail, but now that the rest of them have been caught here, they're going to end up going to see some catfish. Uh-oh. Got my line around this branch right here. What have I done? Okay. Now I'm out of it. Now can I catch a fish? Got to keep a streak going. Got it. Got me one. <laughs> I think that's, uh, what was that, four fish and a stick on five casts? I may have, I've got a streak going, y'all, and I done lost count before I even hit double digits. Throwing that stick into the mix, it's it's messed with my mind. It's hard to keep up. I got basic arithmetic skills. I may be about to break a streak right here on this cast, though. <laughs> yep, breaking a the streak there. That's fun, though, you know, when you... When you're doing this kind of thing and you can get on a bite where you're catching them one after another after another... 
that's something you can do with you with your kids. You take a kid fishing or something, you can have little competitions with them and whatnot, and they'll whoop the far out of you too. Them, them kids can catch just as many fish doing this as an adult. It's a good technique. Don't take any. What I'm doing here today, don't take really any kind of, you know, specialized technique. If they can cast the pole, and you can see how I can't even hardly do that well. I've been in trees all morning. But just cast it, let it sink down, and jerk some jaws. And I had one right there. Most of them fish going to hit you on the fall. You'll feel them bite it, or you'll see your line move. Yeah, I think I've, oh, no. Nope. I was gonna say, I think I about got them all that I was gonna get off this little spot, but something's got me right here and it actually feels a little better. Yeah, that's a little better bluegill right there. Get my old sunfish right there on the bank and the bluegill is just off the bank. I could keep a bluegill or two, I guess, alive. I don't know if it hurt. Or you, you wanna you wanna join them sunfish in the bucket? Maybe be a live bait on an upcoming catfish video? He just said yes, I saw his lips move. All right, well, he talked me into it. I just made that fish's dreams come true. Well, y'all, first thing this morning, I was shaded out here the way the sun was coming up. This whole ledge down, well, there was a big splash right there. But this whole ledge was in the shade and now that sun's got up there and uh, it is getting hot fast, man. It is scorching out here. So I'm gonna make a few more casts right here in this area. And then I'm probably gonna wrap it up. I think I'd like to end it on a fish though, wouldn't you? I oftentimes throw in a bonus fish after I'm done filming. But I'm gonna try to end it on a fish today. Uh, I'm gonna go home to the air condition. Might eat me some blackberry cobbler today. Girlfriend fixed one of those last night and it was pretty daggone good. It's that time of year, blackberry season. They ain't quite in on the vines yet around here, but it's the time of year where I start to get a hankering for them. Well, let's try this again, y'all. I was going to end this video on a fish and my dang camera overheated. There's one. My camera overheated before I could catch the next one. I had to let it cool off. That's how hot it is, nine o'clock in the morning. And my dang camera is overheating. I have moved down here. This is the last little pocket of shade I can find along this ledge. Oh, oh. Well, that fish right there, he didn't even want to tell y'all bye. Let me, just, let me just cast one more time up in there. I'd really like to fish longer, but it's just so dang hot. Here's another one. This right here, this one right here, just a tiny old thing. Let's end the video on him, why don't we? With as many trees as I've cast into today and snags and camera malfunctions here, the later it has gotten in the morning, that's a good, that's a perfect fish to end it on. So anyway, y'all, I've had a good time out here this morning. I don't know if y'all have had a good time watching, but I've had a good time catching the fish I have caught. Again, this ultralight, some small jig heads, a small plastic, whatever you want to use. I like the gulp, but any of them will work. You can go out and have a ball. It's just, it's the simplest way I know to go out and catch a ton of fish any day of the week. I have a good time doing it. I think y'all will too. And I hope wherever you're at watching today, I hope you're in the air condition because that's where I'm about to be. I'll see you next time. Thanks. For